Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So as you can tell from today's title, it's just gonna be a glow up with new and old makeup. I don't really have anything new besides what I have from BoxyCharm. So I'm just gonna play with some products that are in my collection and we'll just go from there. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and prime my lids with the Milani eyeshadow primer here. So I'm just gonna prime my lids with that. And eyeshadow primer, you only really just need a dot. Just a little bit goes a long way. You don't really need a lot. I really need to clean my makeup brushes. I am behind. I will probably be cleaning my makeup brushes after this video because I have not cleaned them in a couple weeks. So that is something I will be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and blend in the primer on the eyelids. All right, so I'm just gonna take this Violet Voss Essentials 2 palette and I'm going to use transition colors out of this palette and place upon my eyelids. So I'm just gonna go in with these two colors here and place them on my eyelids. Okay, so now that the transition colors are on, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. That way, that can be working in while I'm applying my eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Wet n Wild Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Spray. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put on my primer as well. So I have a pore filling primer that I have in my collection. And uh, if I can find it, see, I need to clean up my stuff. My room is a hot mess. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my No Pore Bloom Primer and let that sit in as well while we're applying the eyeshadow. So I do have a couple eyeshadows that I'm gonna be using today. So I do have the e.l.f. I believe this one is called Akayu. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name correctly or if I'm butchering the name, but either way it goes. Um, I am gonna use this palette here, this little bite-sized palette. So those are the colors there. I'm gonna be using that today. And then I do also have another little palette here. This one is called No Reception. And this is a pretty blue color. So it's like a sample shadow. So that's the color there. So I'm gonna use that today. So I'm just gonna mix these together and see what I can create. I always try to match my eyeshadow with what I'm wearing. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I think today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this light color here, the light blue color here, and put that on first.
And I believe with the same I brush, I'm gonna, it looks like almost like a navy blue, almost looks black kind of, but I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. And I did notice that like, whenever I look back at my footage, like if I watch myself again, I realized that I'd be putting on my products pretty fast. And the reason why is because I work from home. So like when we have Zoom meetings, like I get like a 15 minute break. So if I'm about to go into a meeting and I wanna put on like a light face, nothing major, I don't go into like this going, you know, into a Zoom meeting at work, but I'm putting on my makeup really quickly. And that's the reason why is because I've timed myself. I'm so used to having to hurry you know, to go into a meeting that that's the reason why I'd be putting on my makeup so fast. So. So that one was kind of chalky on this side. It was kind of chalky. So I'm gonna try and build this up a little bit more. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eyeliner. Um, I'm going to go back. I'm gonna use my old school eyeliner. So the one that I've been using, the little gel, LA Girl gel liner. Now for the gel liner, I am going to pull, you know, do the way I've been doing it because that's how I get a good look with the gel liner. I tried doing it with the other way, but I just, I just can't. So I'm going to pull on my eye a little bit. So. You, I'm going to go ahead and use this blue eyeshadow here. This is really pretty. So I think I'm just gonna put that on the top of my eyelid and see what it does. I'm gonna try my fingers first, and then if that doesn't pop, then I will go ahead and spray it and apply it on there. That is a very pretty color. I like that, that's very pretty. Very nice and very pigmented, very pretty color. I have never even heard of this brand. It is called the Space Cosmetics. So I believe this was, um, this was an eyeshadow that my grandmother had, so, and it was given to me. So I like this, it's very pretty. So now we're gonna go ahead in and I'm gonna do my lashes. Um, I do have the uh, Wispy, well, it's So Wispy by Kiss, and these are the Zero One Lashes. So this is what I will be using today. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply those on, and I'll be right back. Okay, so lashes are on. So we're gonna go ahead in with the concealer. I've been doing this underpainting technique, and I really like it. So I'm gonna do concealer first, so I'm like doing it backwards. I do my concealer first, and then I go ahead and apply my foundation, because it's what works for me. Do what works for you. I know a lot of people put on their, most of the people put on their foundation first and the concealer, um, but I'm doing it backwards and I see more of a result than the other way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my concealer and I'm still using my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and this was in 400 Caramel. 
So that's what we're using today. Okay. All right, and I'm just gonna let this sit in for a couple moments again, and then I'm gonna blend it out, and then we'll go in with the foundation. Okay, so it has been a couple minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and blend out the concealer, and then we'll go ahead and apply the foundation. Okay, so for our foundation today, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation, and I have mine in the color 365C. So I'm just going to shake it up. It's a luminous foundation, so it looks like it's a little dark, but I can work with it. And I just use two pumps and that's it. So. All right, so I'm just gonna take my brush and blend it in. This is very luminous, as you can tell. My face looks shiny as I don't know what. Very glowy. But I will set that here in just a moment because I don't like the real glowy look. I like more of a matte look rather than glowy because it just makes my skin look more oily. But I mean, a healthy glow is fine too, but I'm not into it because my skin is combination. So therefore my skin looks oily all the time if I leave it like this. All right, so now I'm going to set my under eyes from that concealer. We're gonna set the under eyes now. And I am just using, what is this? Flower, this uh, flower setting power, flower setting power, flower setting powder and it's in translucent. So I'm just going to use this. I'm going to set my under eyes and then I will be setting my face with it as well. So I'm just going to blend out that concealer underneath my eye. And then I'm going to take my powder puff and set under my eye. And then I'm just taking my powder puff in my hand and I'm just putting it on top of my hand here and then I'm gonna use it for the rest of my face. Trust the process, I know, it looks light. Trust the process. All right, so I'm going to sweep under my eyes. Just blend that translucent powder out. And there's that. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna set the face again. So yeah, we're gonna set the face again, and this time I'm just using my NYX Bear With Me um, setting spray.
This fan comes in so handy. I recommend it if you don't have one. You can get it at Amazon. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do bronzer, blush, and highlight. And I'm just using my Physician's Formula bronzer for today. Again, this one is in the shade Endless Summer. So I'm just using that, pressing into here, tapping off the excess. And then we will go in with blush. And I think I'm gonna go back with my e.l.f. blush. I have a little e.l.f. quad here. Okay, so yes, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. quad here. And I'm just gonna take this uh, blush here. Okay, so I'm taking this BoxyCharm highlighter. This is in the After Hours Wanderlust Glow. This this right here, this is gonna make you pop right here, this color right here. And you don't even have to spray your brush. See that? Beautiful. And again, I like to take the leftover excess on my brush and put it above my eyelid and just make it pop a little bit more, you know? I have makeup all over me, so I'm just over here wiping it off. All right, so now we're gonna do the lower lash line, and I'm just gonna put on my eyeliner and then probably use some of the eyeshadow and bring it down below on my lower lash line. All right, so I'm just gonna line my lower lash line here. All right, and I think I'm gonna take me a pencil brush and I'm just gonna use this eyeshadow and drag it down on my lower lash line here. Actually, I'm gonna take the gold color of the highlighter and pop it in the inner corner. So again, with this, you just dip and spray. So you're just gonna dip it here and then spray your brush. I'm gonna place it in my inner corner here. Just to make it pop a little bit. See? So again, you're gonna dip spray and put it in the inner corner so there is that that's what that looks like so i'm just going to take this uh, milani lip liner this is in the color cafe au lait I'm just gonna take it at the bottom, just line my lips here. It blends right on in with my lips.
The Anastasia uh, lipstick, again, this one is in Rum Punch and it's a matte lipstick, so I'm just gonna take it. So this is the color here. All right, so I'm just gonna take it and put it on here. All right, so then I'm gonna go in with the um, Glowish by Huda Beauty. And again, I have mine in 0810. I'm gonna just set the rest of my face with this here. And then I'm gonna go over top with my e.l.f. lip gloss in Sparkling Rose. I tend to like this color here. It's gonna go over top of my lipstick because it's a matte lipstick, so it's gonna be, you know, matte. So we're just gonna get some gloss to it. All right, guys, so this completes the look. The look is complete. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything. I do like the turnout of it. I really like the eyeshadow. I love the lashes. Um, and I do love that highlighter. That highlighter is just so pretty. I really like it. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I will have more content loading. Um, if you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.